This is your weekly wrap-up for Thursday, May 9th, 2024. Pray this finds you well. The reason I'm doing this on a Thursday is because I'm going to be traveling tomorrow, Friday, all day, and I won't be able to have access to do this video, so we're doing it early, but the information is as current as possible, so please give me some rope there. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Uh, this week's shows were jam-packed. We had good friend Mench Eli Weber on, Andy Sheckman. Uh, we just released Greg Manorino today, as you know. Ian Farrar from Purium with his latest health updates, uh, SG Anon, and Derek Johnson, which will be coming out tomorrow. That was a great discussion as well. Uh, we had to move Denise Boland to later this month. She's dealing with a death in the family, so do keep her in your prayers as well. A lot of people going through some hardships, and many of you can empathize with that, I'm sure. Okay, next week we have a shorter week. We have Ann Vandersteel. We're looking forward to updating with her on where she's seeing things geopolitically and financially and sharing information. And we have a new guest that's going to be exclusive to our Club Patriot platform, Gus Moyer, who has come up with his own machines and devices that work on frequencies and light therapy uh, for the upcoming new season we're in with new technologies and healing and all that encompasses with that. And we're going to be doing a podcast where we show his equipment, how it works, and then you can, again, access Club Patriot to uh, gain information about how to learn more about uh, accessing these technologies and getting consultations with Gus accordingly. Okay, to the headline news. Iraq, as you know, continues to move forward with the process of returning to the international stage, thanks to the efforts of Prime Minister Sudani. Federal courts now have appointed a new non-corrupt Speaker of the House that will be introduced sometime next week. The World Trade Organization announcement is also forthcoming to the world, but it looks as if they have uh, in our in our excuse me our Telegram channel, we've shown you articles that would suggest strongly that Iraq is now officially in the WTO. They just need to announce it, but that is moving forward. Israel has officially attacked Rafah, next Hezbollah, then of course the secret nuclear power plants of Iran that will free up Iraq accordingly for what we're all waiting uh, as patiently as possible to see. An impromptu announcement is coming, whereby Judge Torres will announce. Uh, we believe this month that XRP has won the case outright against the SEC. Then those are aforementioned items will move like a domino effect. We expect Gary Gensler, the head of the SEC, to be fired as this will be a major black eye for the SEC. The Ripple XRP case signals another death blow to the US dollar in conjunction with precious metals in an effort to de-dollarize like BRICS is doing. Uh, Japan is implementing a redesigned banknote for the new gold back yen to be implemented in July. We also expect them at some point this year to be joining the BRICS as well. Vietnam has already formally applied to join the BRICS. No surprise there as they've been part of WTO for 20 years now. Tesla is embarking on another round of layoffs impacting jobs in the software service and engineering departments. First reported by Electric, this new wave of layoffs follows two previous waves that saw more than 10% of the company's workforce be let go in the last month as the company begins its next phase of growth past the Cybertruck, according to a letter sent out by Elon Musk. Nike to cut up to $2 billion in overhead for 2024, $2 billion. Uh, this is as of right now in real time, gold is up 2341.80 at almost 1%. Silver, uh, was at 28.10 and it's now settling at around 28.13. That's up 1.3%. Brent crude oil 79.29 holding steady at under a percent at 0.38 of 1%. Now on to some of the commentary section where I answer some of your questions and give my own personal feedback to my audience. Uh, descent wallet issues, somebody asked about that. All you have to do is power off the device, power it back on and retry the fingerprint or the 24 word mnemonic code that you should have written down and that will give you access. You can also go to descent.com and build a support ticket or I believe they're now coming up if they haven't already, uh, I haven't checked in the last couple of days um, with a live chat support as well. Also make sure that you're doing software updates routinely. They come out every couple of months. That could be an issue for you as well. Personally asked that question. The person who talked about Vietnam is not removing corruption of business as usual. With all due respect, you're just wrong. You may be accustomed to corruption in the past from previous generations. We understand that, but that's not what's happening now. Please tell that to the former head of parliament that just resigned in disgrace or the real estate mogul who stole $12.5 billion from the country and was executed. Okay. And then tell that to Silver and Litecoin that nothing is changing. Okay, and we also are waiting for the China Taiwan invasion. As soon as XRP is announced as the winner, we would expect this summer the China Taiwan invasion, which will free up Vietnam 
And again, silver and Litecoin. So don't take my word for it. Look at the information. Things are definitely changing. It is not business as usual. That I can assure you. Uh, somebody asked about safe platforms for XRP. Uphold is great. Um, I think once, uh, big, excuse me, once XRP wins their case, I believe Coinbase will be a viable option, but they won't be the only one. There'll be many other uh, platforms you can use, but I've used Uphold and had uh, good success with them over the years. So just to answer your question. Somebody asked, what, what is Jim Willie's take on the RV? Go watch the show. Towards the end of the podcast, he gives his layout of it. And yes, he's very much in favor of the reset, all the currencies, and he's a big fan of XRP as well. Uh, going back a second, I just want to mop up some things here with the layoffs and resignations. Uh, an iconic, this is a sad story, an iconic family chain of music stores has been forced to shut down all of its shops after 100 years. Sam Ash, which opened its first store in Brooklyn, New York in 1924, announced it would soon be closing all 42 locations in a statement. All the chain stores, which span New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and California, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Ohio will be closing by the end of July. I personally knew the Sam Ash family. I worked for them uh, in college. They were very good to me and they were very fair and uh, they really did care about their customers, employees respectively. So this is, this is a sad thing to see because um, we know that family businesses are gonna be coming back, but we also know, unfortunately, there would be some collateral damage along the way. There's a company, I didn't make up this name, Boohoo cuts over 1000 jobs and crashes into debt after 13% sales drop, sort of seems appropriate given their name. MoneyWise is reporting a major crisis in the commercial real estate market with debts exceeding $929 billion to implode. We already see the commercial real estate space is plummeting over the cliff, so this isn't a major surprise. Uh, Dollar Tree to cut all 1,000 locations before the end of the year. Disney has its worst day in a year and a half with 9% company drop in profits. We talked about Tesla uh, cutting jobs in software service and engineering. And the, oh, yes, and uh, a tech company backed by Bill Gates files chapter 11. So there is some good news in the carnage as well. Um, and then just wrapping up the uh, public um, commentary, uh, this, this is a PSA announcement. We've already made this announcement in our shorts but apparently some of you didn't see it or you're new to the channel. I, I don't know what, but I've already said it several times. I'm saying it here again to be very official. We were recently hacked and scammed by a con overseas who admitted to it. I got a call from this person. They had an African accent. I don't know which country. I don't really care. They were doing wrong and malfeasance. They admitted to stealing our information and wanted to quote, make a deal. You can't make this stuff up. You wanted us to pay them to keep them from spreading false information um, and putting up fake channels and pirating us. And we told them in no uncertain terms to go pound sand. So we're not gonna do that. Or we're, we're not gonna make deals with nefarious people. And he claimed poverty was the reason, but he doesn't realize they're not really poor, they're rich, but they just didn't know what they're about to find out in this new economy that they've been lied to all their lives. And that will, another benefit of the wealth transfer will stop a lot of the scamming and the the chicanery and the nefarious behavior that's been going on for far too long. They created a fake uh, X uh, page and a Facebook. Folks, I haven't had a Facebook page in three years or an X, what they're calling an X was Twitter then, two years ago. So it is definitely not me. I'm not asking you to be part of any QFS stuff or any private placement stuff that is not coming from me. The only legitimate channels we have are the YouTube channel, Chris Real World and myself, my name on Rumble and BitChute, and then, of course, the Telegram channel, my name, and uh, Club Patriot. That's it. Those are the only four channels. We don't ask for donations. We don't uh, have you get on any uh, QFS sites. You don't need to just block those people, disregard them. It's a con artist. You're hearing it from me. That is definitely not us. So when somebody asks, why am I not answering on Facebook? Because I'm not on there. That's not me. So just we need to use some common sense here. But uh, I'm sorry that that's happening, but uh, you know we can't control that, but we can stem the flow of, of the tide by at least putting out these announcements so that everybody hears directly. Fake book and X, we are not on there in any way, shape or form. It is not us. We will never answer any questions there because we're not there. We don't sell anything or XRP or XRP, excuse me, a QFS, any of that. We're, we're not a part of an affiliation with any of those scams. So just wanted you to hear that officially once and for all, okay? I. I don't like repeating myself. I'm not that interesting to keep hearing myself over and over again. So please write this down so that you will commit it to memory. 
Okay, another thing, please don't come on and, um, and put comments on our, our channels about Rod Steele's consulting meetings. We are not involved with any business dealings that Rod Steele does. That's his own initiative. Just because we interview him doesn't mean we're involved in the business dealings. We cannot help you with that. So please, no more comments about um, Rod Steele's business affairs and consulting. He said it many times, write this down, Patriot Rod Steele at X. That's where you find him. Um, if he's not responding, he's probably busy or he is going through cancer treatment. So let's give him a little bit of grace. Um, you know, he's doing the best he can as a one man operation. But again, go through him. Do not come to us. We don't have any dealings with his business affairs. We can't help you with that. So please don't ask us. End of story. Now, uh, part of the reason, again, I'm doing the, this uh, show on Thursday is because I'm traveling out tomorrow. And that's where we'll leave the show is because of the Mother's Day holiday to spend time with my family and get a little uh, bit of a rest, even though I am doing shows next week. It'll be nice to uh, get a little bit of a recharge since we did uh, over six shows this week and, and almost five yesterday. So it, it was a long day. Uh, it's been a long week, but we're still here. We'll still keep giving the information. Um, so thank you for understanding in advance. And on that note, I want to wish each and every one of you women that are mothers, grandmothers, or soon to be mothers, a very sincere and wonderful, happy Mother's Day, uh, and grandmothers as well. Don't wanna leave you out of the mix. Um, how you support your children and your family is unbelievable. You are the glue and the backbone that keeps the family going. I have a great mom and I, I know firsthand the sacrifices that she's made and I am very understanding of a lot of sacrifices that you women have made for your families. And it's, it's great that you're getting an acknowledgement on this weekend. So I just want to wish you all a very wonderful and safe, happy Mother's Day, Grandmother's Day, Future Mother's Day, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and we'll do Father's Day next month. But um, we sincerely appreciate you uh, <clears throat> on so many levels. So that does it for the updates for this week. Uh, if there's anything urgent, as always, we'll come out and do a short on uh, YouTube. Otherwise, have a great, safe holiday, uh, Mother's Day weekend and rest of the week. And uh, we'll continue to watch as all the events unfold. Take care and God bless.